Hello folks, so in the last few videos, we have been talking about DevOps. We have talked about DevOps, we have talked about DevOps pipeline, we have also talked about how various stages in a software development lifecycle connect to each other. Now since DevOps is an evolving field, a lot of terms are getting used in DevOps and there is a lot of confusion over what does these terms mean. For example, so you'll be hearing about continuous build, continuous testing, continuous integration, continuous delivery, continuous deployment. So what all are these? So to begin with, you have seen that in DevOps there are two principles, very fundamental principles, which is automated and integration. So if you can integrate various stages of the pipeline and you can repeat it multiple times, that becomes your continuous thing. So for example, what is continuous build? Continuous build is that just imagine that there is a developer who is writing some code and he is using some source code management tool. So as soon as he writes some code, he uploads it, that is pushes the code into the repository. Now it should be integrated with some build automation tool in such a way that as soon as he pushes the code, it should fire up the build process. So whatever compilation tool you are using, that should get triggered and that should start the compilation process. It should create the build report after the compilation. So if there is no manual intervention between the developer pushing the code and getting the build report, it can be called an integrated step. And if you are doing this pretty often, then that can be called continuous build. So there is a term called continuous testing. So in this practice, the developer is pushing some code on the other hand, tester is pushing some test cases in maybe a common repository and as soon as a new code comes or a new test case comes, it triggers the test automation framework and then the test report gets generated for the code. If this process is happening multiple times a day, every time a new code comes or every time a new test case comes, if that triggers this process automatically, then we can call it continuous testing. So of course, what do you need for continuous testing? Build automation framework and a test automation framework and integration between this build automation framework and test automation framework. Now generally, this continuous build and continuous testing combine together to create something called continuous integration. So overall, what happens in continuous integration that just imagine the developer is writing some code, pushing the code into repository tester is writing some test cases and pushing it into a repository and without any manual intervention every time this kind of push happens on the repository it triggers a job which is doing the build as soon as the build is complete it triggers the test automation framework all the test cases which are there in the repository get executed and a test report gets generated so this process is called continuous integration However, there are some more things that you can include in the continuous integration which is like suppose you brought some static code review tool. There are multiple tools that uh, read your code and analyze your code and give you proper review. So these are basically automated reviews. Their aim is to find out some common bugs which are uh, so obvious or improving the code quality. Similarly, there are tools which measure the code coverage. So when you have got say multiple test cases running on your code, how much code your test cases are covering. So you've got multiple co code coverage tools out there. So if you integrate all these tools for code coverage, for static code review, for build automation, till the testing part, then this whole thing makes up your continuous integration. So any organization that start its journey towards a DevOps ecosystem, start with continuous integration. Now, the next is continuous delivery. What exactly is the difference between continuous integration and continuous delivery? Continuous delivery is just one step ahead of the continuous integration. So after your continuous integration, if the release process also gets automated, if you have been to the software development lifecycle, you would be knowing that even if your testing etc is complete, even if all the test cases are passing, there are a lot of processes involved in releasing the code. So if that release process you can automate, then that's called continuous delivery. So you'll be hearing about continuous deployment as well, which is one step ahead of your continuous delivery. So in continuous deployment, you not only release the code, 
but you also deploy it in the production server though it looks like utopian because remember now the developer is writing some code pushing into the repository and whole compilation process testing process release process and deployment process everything is happening automatically no manual intervention involved that is basically your continuous deployment this is what devops envisions to bring so continuous deployment is a tough goal to achieve however this is the ultimate vision of people who say that we want to bring devops culture in our organization this is what you should strive for so devops doesn't end with the continuous deployment of course there are things like monitoring tools after the deploying your product your monitoring tools should start monitoring your application and that should start generating data that would be used for planning the next feature that will make feedback loop go back to the design phase so now you understand that this continuous paradigm is not possible without automation and without integration of various stages so you need various tools like infrastructure automation tools tools for configuration and provisioning and so on so in the next video we'll be talking about devops tools which can make it possible that can make the continuous integration possible that can make continuous delivery possible that can make the devops possible these kind of tools that integrate all these various stages are normally called ci slash cd tools so we'll be hearing about them a lot so you have got uh, jenkins one such tool there is your visual studio another tool you have got atlassian's bamboo as another ci cd tool so in the next video we'll be talking about jenkins which is open source and very famous tools in this domain so in then don't forget about continuous learning when you are learning about various tools when you are integrating all the knowledge that you have and when you are repeating this process again and again that's called continuous learning so keep learning bye bye